Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 19th of 2022. Well, it is titled M31 the Andromeda Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is the most distant object that you can see with the naked eye. So without any aid such as binoculars or a telescope, this object is actually visible in the northern sky. Now it won't look like this without taking detailed images and long exposures. But you can see a fuzzy patch in the sky at this location if you know roughly where to look in the constellation of Andromeda. Now this is also known as M31 or the Andromeda galaxy and is actually a large spiral galaxy, uh, even larger than our own Milky Way. This is about 200,000 light years across, almost twice as large as our Milky Way. And we can see uh, this galaxy and study it very well, even though it is two and a half million light years away. It's actually our nearest large galactic neighbor. And that is, of course, Andromeda, although we did look at other ones very recently in terms of the Magellanic clouds that we've seen in other images, which are even closer galaxies to us, but nowhere near the size of our of the Milky Way or the Andromeda galaxy. Now here what we're looking at and considering that that the uh, Andromeda galaxy is actually moving toward the Milky Way or maybe that's not the right way to say it because motion is relative. It can be also us moving towards Andromeda or some combination of the two. But in all, all the two galaxies are getting closer together and will eventually collide. However, because of the immense distances, even if they were traveling at the speed of light, it would take two and a half million years for the Andromeda galaxy to reach our loca location. So it's going to take actually much longer than that because galaxies are not moving at anything near the speed of light. And it will take closer to 5 billion years when the sun is reaching the end of its life. At that point, the Andromeda galaxy will not only be visible in the sky, but will easily be visible and will cover the entire sky. And there will eventually be a collision between the two. The collision will not be a collision in the sense that you're no used to thinking about it where two things smash together. But they will actually pass through each other gas clouds colliding incredible bursts of star formation. And then eventually, the two galaxies will settle down and probably coalesce into one much larger galaxy. So we're looking forward to that. But that is not going to happen for about 5 billion years. And the collision and merger itself could take another billion or two beyond that. So a collision of galaxies is not a quick process. It takes a long time. But eventually, we will not be able to see the Andromeda galaxy as we're used to seeing it here. It will eventually become part of our galaxy or we will become part of it as the two galaxies form one much larger galaxy in a five to six billion years. So that was our picture of the day for January 19th of 2022. It was titled M31 the Andromeda galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.